All right, I'm going to mix up my primer. I already stirred it up really well. This particular brand, one part of the uh, MEKP and 100 parts paint. I'm sorry, 100 to 2 or 50 to 1. I finished painting it with the primer. I did a couple more coats. I just kept going until I ran out of paint. So I got a couple thick coats on here. Unfortunately, though, even though it's a high build primer, it did not fill some of the little bit bigger holes. Looks like powder post beetles damage in old furniture. So things like that these little pinholes, these little pinholes. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna, I'm just gonna fill each one in with a little bit of uh, some finishing putty in my finger because that's catalyzed and then I could just prime over that. Okay, I'm mixing up a little finishing putty. I cut myself a small piece out of one of my spreaders because you don't need it to be wide if you're just doing little pinholes. Trying to fill all the pinholes. It's starting to kick, darn it. I was putting a little bit less in so it'll not kick off so quick because it's very hot outside. Okay, well, I think I pretty much got the majority of the holes and things I was worried about uh, taken care of. So I'm going to let this dry overnight. I'm going to come out in the morning. We're going to start sanding it so we can throw another coat of the primer on it. And when that dries, then we can start the waxing process.
Okay, we are doing another coat of the primer. Um, I spent, I don't know, I was up till like one o'clock in the morning sanding. I spent hours last night on that thing. And uh, it's ready for its final coat of paint. Okay, this has been primed and I'm letting it dry in the sun and then I'm gonna start applying the wax. And I got about 99% of the holes I was trying to get rid of. There are a tiny few, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. All right, I'm doing some waxing. What I'm gonna do, I've been putting, I already gave it one coat yesterday and I've been buffing it. And now I'm going to just put some more on and then polish that. And the idea is to get about five to six, seven coats of wax on this. Because that's what's going to make the mold release. See, this is what's known as a high gloss wax paste, which means you can make it really shiny. And the more shinier that it is, the less things are gonna to wanna to stick to it. All right, we have everything ready for fiberglassing. First, we're gonna apply our polyvinyl alcohol, but that is gonna go on after we install our frame. We're gonna put our frame on, get that tacked in place. And then um, what's gonna happen is, like I said, the fiberglass will stick to the frame, but it won't stick to the base or the head. So when we pop this mold up, we're going to get the entire frame, the flat part, the, the, the shape of the face, again, the flat backing up, the wood will all come off with it, but this will stay below. So then we're done with that, but uh, I'm going to have to end the video right here because I'm trying to keep them under 10 minutes or so. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting all the fiberglass and stuff. So stick around for the next episode because it's going to be cool. Thanks all my new subscribers. If you have any questions or want to leave a comment, go ahead and please do. All right, everybody. I'll talk to you soon.